I'm Karen Collins. Thank you for joining me today. We have Dr. Satvir Khalsa with us, who is assistant professor in the Harvard School of Medicine. Now, can you um, give us a little bit of a picture of what, what, what you could expect? Um, I know you were saying today um, it doesn't take years to start to see benefits. On the other hand, don't think you're going to go to a class once a week and um, find your diabetes resolved. Exactly. So it, it depends upon what you're looking at. I mean, if you're looking at stress reduction, more often than not, one yoga class will make you feel better. I mean, the world just looks different. Mm -hmm. It's like you put on a different shade of colored glasses. I mean, it's suddenly different. Uh, things, seem, things don't seem as bad as they were before the yoga class. So there is this sense of well-being that comes even after one yoga class. Sometimes you may not get it, but many times you will. It might not last. How long would you know, it would carry you through the day, day until day. Okay. you know, mm -hmm. or a day or two, and then there's some 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 sense of after effect of that okay. too. So, mm -hmm. so that's so it's not, not just an immediate effect. It's not just an immediate effect. Yeah. It does carry over to some degree. Now, if your goal is, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds, well, you know, yoga is not going to drop 20 pounds in a week. It ain't going to happen. Um, there's a lot of things that have to go on there. And whether it's uh, 20 pounds, or whether it's chronic insomnia, or whether it's type 2 diabetes, these changes are going to take a while. And the expectations have to be there that this is a gradual change. I mean, it took years for you to develop this problem. It's going to take at least a couple of months to get out of this problem, to resolve it, because you're resolving it in a natural way. You're bringing the body back into balance, and that takes time. So, um, along with that, you have to expect that, hey, one yoga class a week may also not be enough. I mean, we haven't got research that really demonstrates the dose that's necessary for certain things to happen. But you can be sure that for a lot of chronic conditions like obesity or diabetes or insomnia, that you're going to have to put in a little bit more effort than your average practitioner would be. You may have to go to yoga class two to three times per week and maybe practice a few techniques at home to really get enough change going that you can see a demonstrable difference over the course of, say, uh, eight weeks. But, you know, it's, it's safe to say that, you know, practicing yoga two to three times per week with a little home practice over eight weeks will actually give you palpable changes over eight weeks. So that's, that's pretty kind of, exciting. Yeah, so it is pretty exciting. You will see changes over that, over that okay, kind of within period two, of time. Within a couple months. Yeah, but, you know, two weeks, three weeks, you know, the changes may just start being happening at that point. You might feel differently. Yeah, but you might feel differently, effects. but the actual you know, other deeper changes are not happening. But certainly after one week, you're not going to. You know, mm -hmm. You're not going to change the world. This is not a drug. Right. Um, and in a sense, it's good that it's not a drug because what you're really doing is you're treating the underlying imbalance. Drugs, yeah, drugs often just basically treat the symptom. You take the drug away and the symptom comes right back. Whereas with this, this is a change that you're making to bring balance back. And bring yourself back into this balanced state. And that takes time. But it, in the end, it's the only kind of change that really makes sense because you're treating the underlying problem. You're not just treating the symptom. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty exciting, the potential. It is. is. Uh, and it's, 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 it's all in this general field, what we call behavioral medicine. It's basically people taking responsibility and, and working with themselves, with their, own, with their own lives, to make health changes on their own. And that is very self-empowered. Because now people have control over their own bodies and their own minds. Before they were they, they were like a cork on the ocean, I mean, up and down, all over the place. Now they have control uh, that they never had before because they've been given a skill, and that skill allows them to cope both mentally and physically.